chasers on. I still haven't made a video with them on because I don't know what people want to see. It's wheel spacers. I mean, I guess people want to know if they're going to fall off or something. Well, they're not. <laughs> it's not nothing. It's going to work. It's just <laughs> I haven't made the video. There's a guy talking, and I mentioned it in a video about England, UK, somewhere over there. I don't know which country in the UK. Skag has a SWZ, and they come with two, looks like what we would call tractor tires. Narrow tractor tires on either side. I've seen them on the Skag Nation and Lawn Pros for years. Well, Skag Nation ain't that as old as my group. Lawn Pros, another shameless plug, so join it. And that kind of interests me because what I do with this mower is whoever would work for me. I'll, I, Roy's the only one I let on this one. I usually use the other one, but they would use this and we would mow at the same time. I always outrun them by tremendous when I got this one. Tremendous. It ain't even a competition. Twice as fast as this. And as a helper, what I liked is when you pull up to a a property both of you at the same time just let you look at the mower while I'm talking both of you at the same time hop out and you both mow the whole property and you meet to wherever you meet you just naturally let it go of course this mower is going to out mow this one like I said almost twice as much same cut on everything so when you get to the end of it you both park and you both weed eat. Then when you get done weed eating, you meet in a, wherever you meet, it'll naturally occur. Then you both get backpack blowers. Well, here's the dynamic that this introduced when I bought this. I saved, it used to take me and him, I'd use that Toro back there and I would use that SWZ 48. So we had two 48s and the same properties we have almost, these two mowers, and especially this one has probably cut, you know, I don't want to do the math because I don't know specifically. It feels like almost double the speed because what happens is not only do I save time with this machine, even with the weak engine, I couldn't imagine a 37 on here. That's why I'm going to get one probably. Well, I'm think I'm switching on the brands, but Skag will probably get me in the. I just love, I love their freaking mowers. I ain't apologizing. Anyway, uh, what happened was we used to have to walk and blow these big old parking lots. I've got several big commercial places, and you have to walk and walk and walk after you done weed eated. So now, I've made videos of this long ago. I do what everybody else does. I didn't see nobody do it. It's just one of those natural rhythms of life that you just figure out in your head because on the Toro, I used to put a handheld blower between my feet and I would drive it and blow parking lots off. <laughs> I've been doing that and making videos about that long before people even my own knew what a standard was. And I'm not the only one a lot of us has. So I just wear the backpack blower now on this. So Roy like blows for like two minutes now, I'm just a second. And I've done went around the whole giant parking lot wide open. I cut the blades on and hold the blower, the tube about right here. You can see an old video. And what it does, it'll kick out stuff and that blower finishes it off. Oh my God, bam. So it got to the point where me and him was getting done half day on one day. And it used to take us long hours the days we worked long i mean it has so i've got it to where i really don't need any help <clears throat> because of this so what i was thinking is i was like crap i don't want to go buy another mower i just bought this one not two years ago and that one three years ago but i need a backup and you're gonna say i've got a backup yes i've got a z master i don't want to show my dirty grunt z master out there but it is seven miles an hour that's the speed of that. I can't, if I want to be successful on my own, if I can't like, if Roy don't help me, or if I don't hire somebody, he's not the only human on the earth. I can hire people all day. There's tons of people looking for work. I need another one of these for backup. Like if this one tore up or my new one tears up, I'm going to this one. I don't want to go to the Toro. 
I can't get the properties done. So then I would be getting myself in a bind again. That's what I'm trying to avoid is having to have help. There's going to come a day again. I did, I was there and now I'm not because I had to change my whole business to adjust to the way I'm doing two states and stuff. But I still got more than full-time work, just mowing the grass. If I use this, the 3761, I will increase. I just want y'all to know, <laughs> this is not a skag ad. If you buy the other brands, look on the statistics, the little specifications, make sure it goes 10 miles an hour and make sure it can cut that fast. This can cut that fast. It can, I've done it plenty of hours and hours and hours, hundreds of hours on this machine. And even with this little engine. So when I get 37, I hate to see how nice. See, that's what I'm scared of other brands. Like other brands go 10 miles an hour, but if they can't make the cut in one pass, then it's no point. If you're making two passes, you might as well say it's going five miles an hour. You see what I'm saying? So you're killing your time. I'm not in the business of wasting time. Now, I will double cut if a customer pays me to double cut or I want to make a stripe pop to get more business. If I got a good busy neighborhood, I tend to go do a little extra, you know, because it's a business card you're leaving there. It's worked for me for years. Not that I don't do as good for everybody else, but I'm not double cutting. When it stripes and looks great, right, with one pass with this thing, it does. It is amazing. But if I do two, passes it is strong stri I mean it is pops everywhere like you know there's no needing to doing that but I do it for some small properties in certain spots I ain't doing the big property now if you pay me to do it I'll I'll do three times <laughs> just the way it works you don't work for free you give a good deal but you can't work for free so this has changed my whole my whole existence in lawn care business everything I don't like that. I still haven't took it into the dealer. I have whined about that more than any humans ever whined about anything. But even the better half's like, they gonna fix that? Okay, I don't know where I went off, but if you want to advance your business, the advice I can give you is buy a stander that goes 10 miles an hour and that can cut 10 miles an hour. I haven't tried them all, so I don't know. It's just hard to be a velocity dick, I don't know. I need to see it to believe it. Is Skag perfect? Is any brand perfect? No, 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 no. Nobody, nothing's perfect. But I am happy with them. I don't know, man. Y'all don't know how much I like this walk behind. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I mean, there's more expensive walk behinds. Skag sells more expensive walk behinds. That's what people forget. They're like, well, this one's the best deal. Of course it is, but they also has the SWZs. But your pistol grips. If they would use the wheel pump and wheel motors, which I prefer these transaxles, instead of having hoses everywhere that can leak and snag on stuff. And those pumps are better probably and longer lasting. So what I would recommend Skag doing is putting 3,100 pumps under here. Then you've got the good commercial, the higher end ones, it's overkill for this mower. And you still charge a little more and you're just as good as anybody. You don't need the wheel motors and pumps. Those transaxles are tried and true. So anyway, this is the best bang for your buck, but I just love it. If the SWZ, I told them I don't would switch to these handles. Oh my gosh, I, then I would want one. But see the SWZ out here outside has the floating deck with adjustable deck. Those SWZs have spacers, which I don't change my deck height. I know y'all talk about that all the time, but here in the mountains and in the foothills and stuff, the grass pretty much don't need cut. I have no problems. I know everybody's like, well, cut lower this time of year and higher than, I don't know. I've just never had a problem with that. Should you? I don't know. Do I? No. Sometimes I'll play around, but for the most part in our area. Your area might be different, so that's why I don't want to speak on something to which I don't know y'all's areas. I just know, I know I need to change that fuel filter. 
that's what's good. I love keeping the owner's manuals and stuff because it has all the parts listed in them. Brrr. Makes life so much easier. Oh, I bought this right here. This is what I was going to make a video on. Look here. You see these turds? This one comes off, so when I'm going down the highway, it does this number. Well, I bought it. I uh, bought some. And a new air filter. I know what you're going to say. That's just the pre-filter. But it needs changed. I'm, I'll do it. But I bought new nuts. You see this? This is called a nut. I don't know if that'll fix it. But here, let's see. I was not anticipating doing this. I was making a video because me and her is going to watch a movie. Because it's what we want to do because it's so nasty outside we don't want to be traveling because it's when you hear the wind and the rain out there so you look familiar here's the air filter Kawasaki that's 350BT air filter there's the pre-filter and here, here's one of the nuts, right here. So part number, there we go. God dang it. It says KAWP 922101730. So hypothetically, where that one wore out or so, I don't know, we didn't, it's not like we open and close it a hundred times, these are just junk. I see people have these mowers for sale and any mower, with one of these engines on with this same type of cover, just they're missing. So they're like three bucks is all, but which one was it? Yeah, it's this one. I think you just line it up. Well, that's what you get for thinking, I guess. Well, it's got a little gasket under there too. Yeah, that's right, I knew that. All right, I can't do this on camera. Something is preventing me from, there we go. All right, so here's what it looks like. And there's a little, I won't call it a gasket. So, I might play dumb a little bit because Quapachow, I knew it had that. I was just talking and the part number on it. Now listen, if you have an O-ring kit and if you size it up, I've got a big old ring kit somewhere, the other house. Who cares? So what you do is, from the looks of this thing, dang, what a stupid video. I, I make the dumbest content in the world. I don't know, I just don't like to edit much, so I leave a lot in. And that way, if I screw up, you can make fun of me because I'm not shy. I, I say a lot of dumb stuff, and I just leave it in there because I like to talk to y'all like I'm talking to y'all in real life. And we would never say everything perfect in real life. There we go. You know, if me and you was just hanging out, we'd just talk dumb because that's what you do. All right, let's see if I can get this in here. Let me cut the camera on. See if it'll stay there. See if I can. All right, it's on there. I'm going to replace this one because it still works. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You see what I'm saying? So, you line it up there and there. You straighten it up. Straighten it up. Probably got the wrong nuts. Lined up, that's the problem. There we go. Ooh, yep, here it, it's actually holding. So, three dollars to fix my aggravation because it was always stuck up like this going down the highway. I'd turn back in the mirror and say, No, and I'll put the air filter on and the pre filter later. Show you how to do it. It's really that simple, it's even more simpler on this, but. This one is 400 hours. I see people doing these hydro changes in 10 hours. And I'm like, you know the book says 400 hours? 
And a lot of times the Kawasaki book says to change the engine uh, oil filter every other time. Just the oil each, each time. Do you know that? Do I do that? No, I just change the whole thing. That way you've got more of a, I think, chance if you can't get to changing the oil when you need to. Maybe that'll give you a little extended time. And then people over oil their casters, over oil everything. These use a special kind of high temp grease. As long as it's NL2, I think it's called on the pack. The Skag has recommendations, but they're very expensive. But they said on Skag Nation, NL2, it's high pressure grease is what it is. So that's what I use, NL2, different brands, whatever I can buy at the store. So it's always the high trick. It's all, I always use what they require. And then the other little few fittings only needs there every now and then, like right there. And there's another one right there. They don't need it that much. Now, Sulky needs it all free. You talk about something that needs greased is these uh, needle bearings. Keep them puppies greased like every day, two, three, something like that. Especially if it rains and it's muddy and you get that up in there, they'll clear it out. So keep on top of your Sulkies. I was thinking about bringing my $720 Sulky out of retirement, fixing it and putting it back on here since I'm probably going to be the only one using it. Maybe I'm, I might have a new employee. I might have him. I don't know what I'm doing. Probably by myself, but you never know what happens. And my son could even come on board. I don't know. So I always anticipate myself. So I might bring it and put it back on there and do some reviews on it because they still sell it. It's overpriced, but if it takes that pain out of your back, it's not overpriced because you spend more than that on chiropractors and surgeries and so anyway, I got to go. I've showed you all these mowers more times than I should ever show you the mower. I can't wait to get rid of that and get me a fuel injection though. Because they put a the lowest engine you can get on this now, 52, is a 26 EFI Kawasaki. I think they should give me a deal and trade them that. This perfectly good running engine. They won't, but that's what they should do in my opinion. Cause I've had nothing. It's just been weeks since a big jump. But you know that's not smart business. I understand. As long as they, like I said, I need to take it in the shop. I say that for months. 